I look at my watch. I realize I don't have a watch. I look at my phone. The time is 2.27. I was supposed to meet Xander today at 2.30. Drax, I'm going to be late. I see the stoplight. It is green. I get there and boom, yellow. I stop and watch the cars go by. The time is 3.29. Can I still make it? The light turns green and I hurry off to the sub. The time is 3.23. I text Xander. Where is your location? To make it seem like I'm at the sub already and just can't find him. But in all honesty, I'm at least two minutes out. He replies, I'm by the food court. Good, I think. That's the door I'm going in. I open the door and I see Xander. I go up to him and say, hey man. He looks at me weird and says, oh, you're the one that wants a wetsuit? I don't want a conversation. I want the wetsuit. Yeah. We walk out to the parking lot where he claims he parked. I'm not buying it. We walk to the end of the parking lot. His car is nowhere in sight. Then he sees it. A red sports car that you know will get pulled over by a police officer. He opens the trunk. The wetsuit is in there. All right. I can almost taste it. It's so close. He explains that. By the way, it's inside out. I say, okay. I leave with the wetsuit in hand and head back home. But not before I see one of my friends. I talk to him a while. That's cool. Then I continue back, and then I see this girl taking a photo of the flowers. Guess who it was? It's my wife. Well, she's going to be. She just doesn't know it. So I talk to her for a while, but nothing gets in the way of me trying on this wetsuit. I finally get home. I get to the door. I cannot find my keys. I dig through the backpack. I find them tucked away and nestled in the bottom of the bag. I throw my backpack down and I remove my jacket. I am ready. I unearth the wetsuit from the shallow crypt that is my backpack. He explains that it is inside out. I say, okay. I throw the wetsuit down on the bed. I unzip the wetsuit. I hear the noise clearly. It looks ready to put on, but should I just rush it? This is after all my first time. I sweet talk like the charmer I am. I say, Hey baby, you looking for a good time? The wetsuit does not reply. I think, well maybe it can't hear it. Maybe I should say it louder. So I yell, Hey, you looking for a good time? Still no reply. Then I think, what a fool I am. This wetsuit clearly has no ears, and all along I knew it wanted me inside of it. I say, let's stop playing and get to business. The wetsuit droops down. It knows that I am alpha. I slide my legs in. The leg hair stands on end. I like the way the wetsuit feels against me. I slide my legs more in until my lower half is fully consumed by the wetsuit. At that point, I just let the wetsuit take me. I put it all on. Then suddenly, but expectedly, the magic happened. The wetsuit and I are one. It is completed. A single tear runs down my cheek, and there it touches the fabric, a chemical, and emotional bond happen. And the wetsuit and I are now one until we die. Just like the movie Avatar. The one with the blue people, not the Asians.